I meant to say 21, under 21 drink ginger ale. Uh, my bad. Unless you're in the military and you live overseas, in which case the host country will dictate what age you can drink at. Anyway, uh, I diverge. Here's the beast, the iGen 2500, and what you're going to need is uh, some 10W30 oil because that's what it calls for. Oops, I got my finger in the camera area. 10W30, that's what it calls for on the iGen 2500. And so that's what I'm going to put in there, and I've still got the original one, so I can just pour some into that and meter it out. Should be should be just right. And you, and then you want a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, I'm going to go, of course, with the DeWalt um, just to make things a little quicker. So, and then uh, you need a catch vessel for your oil coming out, um, which probably this probably. What is it? 30.32 liter or something? 37? What is it? Anyway, uh, so I got a little of this uh, moonshine jar here from Popcorn Sutton. Um, so I recommend a moonshine jar if you got those laying around like I do. Uh, well, let's get down to it. Hold on a sec. I got some more drinking to do. All right, one armed, one armed maintenance, one armed filming. Good stuff. What's gonna be in here? Probably a lizard. I live in Florida. Freaking lizards everywhere. Claw at that. Knock it out with your fingers. There we go. So just got a couple posts at the bottom. There we go. So you only got the two screws on the top, and then it just pops out. Uh, don't lose them. That would be bad. I lost my manual, of course, right after I got it. Um, so, but you can download the online one. It's on oil changes on page 19, FYI. Here's the oil um, drain slash fill. It's going to be, it's it's like a starfish. It's Everything's going out of one orifice. Um, so anyway, we're going to open this up and then dump it into your mason jar. Now make sure there's no moonshine left over because that would be alcohol abuse. Uh, and we don't want that because then you'd have to drink for that as well. Uh, I'm, since I'm a one-stop shop, I'm just going to, uh, open this up. Let's see if it pours out when I'm opening it up right now. Make a big old mess. Alright, so I got that opened up. Don't get any debris. No debris on here. Put it on a shop towel or something. Alright. And then just lift it up, pour it in there. Is, is... OCD as you want to get with that. So I'm going to do that off camera because I don't have a, a freaking assistant. I don't have Robin. Um, I'll be right back. You ready? You're on. All right, got me an assistant. God damn, that's heavy. Um, so make sure you don't have too much fuel in there would be my other recommendation. And so you don't pour gasoline all over yourself. I, don't, I might do it anyway. I don't know. Hopefully it's a non-vented cat, I think. Son of a bitch. Make sure you don't cuss. And that's some nice, what do they call it? Texas tea? Black gold? Something like that? Put some of that Saudi Arabian money in there. Shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Alright, and it's about, uh, you get as much out as you can squat over an extended period of time. Looks about good to me. Looks about good to me. Throw that in the grass and kill some grass. And then stretch it out. Mm. Now we're ready to add oil. So through the same orifice. Is that okay to say orifice? It's orifice. Orifice? It's a There's three a syllable. Orifice. It's an extra I, but okay. The same orifice. We're gonna add oil. So just knock the sand and dirt off this damn thing. Mm -hmm. Shake it. Ah. Yeah. Orophis. <laughs> I got the Orophis set. And then uh, and then your pre-metered pre engine oil. We're just going to chunk that in there. Pause it for a second. I got to get me a... All right, I eyeballed it. Hopefully that's about right. Pour it in slowly. Do not overfill. I don't know how you're not going to overfill. 
Did you actually mix that? What do you mean? Or did you just pour stuff on top of that and then pour it in? Well, I just had a little bit left over in there. And then I poured some other other shizzle in there. It's all black. Uh, 10W30-ish. SAE30. Good enough for government work. Oh, my God. That might be overfill. We're about to find out, aren't we? I like to learn by screwing up the first time and then <clears throat> learning from that and then doing it right the second time. Maybe. Trying to do it right the second time, at least. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, look at that all over our driveway. Oh, fuck. Don't do it on top of your pavers. Ugh. Do it in the grass. See? See, I just saved you <laughs> hate mail from your significant other. Damn it. Damn it. Oh my god. Damn it. Alright. Plug this. Now we got fresh oil. It's just that easy, folks. It's just that easy. This thing hasn't been running a year. I don't even know if there's fuel in it. If it's heavy enough, there's got to be run, choke, efficiency mode is on. And then you just hit the start button on the side. Come on. Come on, girl. Probably doesn't even need a choke. Okay, okay. I might need to add some fuel. I'm gonna do that. Uh. All right, so I'll put a little bit of fuel in there. No corn syrup added on that. Put it back on choke. Usually it fires right up. Like that. Just like that. Awesome. It's quiet. It's happy. Now it's ready to go.